On this feast of Thomas Beckett, our service of morning prayer begins on page 80. Behold, I bring you good news of a great joy, which will come to all the people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory Glory to to the the Father, and to the Son, and and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and and will be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. To us a child is born. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. The Jubilate, page 82. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us. We are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise, give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 18, verses 1 through 20, beginning on page 602. Psalm 18, verses 1 through 20, beginning on page 602. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my stronghold, my crag, and my haven. My God, my rock in whom I put my trust, my shield, the horn of my salvation, and my refuge, you are worthy of praise. I will call upon the Lord, and so shall I be saved from my enemies. The breakers of death rolled over me, then the torrents of oblivion made me afraid. The cords of hell entangled me, and the snares of death were set for me. I called upon the Lord in my distress, and cried out to my God for help. He heard my voice from his heavenly dwelling. My cry of anguish came to his ears. The earth reeled and rocked. The roots of the mountains shook. They reeled because of his anger. Smoke rose from his nostrils, and a consuming fire out of his mouth. Hot burning coals blazed forth from him. He parted the heavens and came down with storm cloud under his feet. He mounted on cherubim and flew. He swooped on the wings of the wind. He wrapped darkness about him. He made dark waters and thick clouds his pavilion. From the brightness of his presence through the clouds burst hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord thundered out of heaven. The Most High uttered his voice. He loosed his arrows and scattered them. He hurled thunderbolts and routed them. The beds of the seas were uncovered and the foundations of the world laid bare. At your battle cry, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. He reached down from on high and grasped me. He drew me out of great waters. He delivered me from my strong enemies and from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into an open place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. Glory to the Father, and and to the Son, and and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, now, and and will will be be forever. forever. Amen. A lesson from the Gospel according to John. On the third day, there was a marriage at Cana in Galilee, and the mother Jesus was there. Jesus also was invited to the marriage with his disciples. When the wine gave out, the mother Jesus said to him, They have no wine. Jesus said to her, O woman, what have you to do with me? My hour is not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now six stone jars were standing there for the Jewish rite of purification, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the steward of the feast. So they took it. When the steward of the feast tasted the water now become wine, he did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew. The steward of the feast called the bridegroom and said to him, Every man serves the good wine first. When they have drunk freely, then the poor wine. But you have kept the good wine until now. This, the first of his signs, Jesus did at Cana in Galilee and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Benedictus, page 92. 
Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The prayers beginning on page 97. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Page 98. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. And you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. O God, our strength and our salvation, you called your servant Thomas Beckett to be a shepherd of your people and a defender of your church. Keep your household from all evil and raise up among us faithful pastors and leaders who are wise in the ways of the gospel. Through Jesus Christ, the shepherd of our souls, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, whose servant Thomas of Canterbury accepted death in defense of the church he loved, be with all those who seek to follow you with integrity this day, that guided by your wisdom and encouraged by your strength, we may run the race you have set before us with perseverance and hope. Loving God, whose follower Thomas of Canterbury served you in his death, by holding fast to his faith to the end, grant to us some share of his integrity, that we may discern with wisdom, speak with honesty, and live with confidence in the hope of eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, we pray for your church that as you hear our prayers, you would offer us comfort and guidance in all we do. Lord of love, whose glory is a human being fully alive, and whose delight it is to know the thoughts of each living heart. Strengthen us, your people, when hope seems failing and faith is dim, that trusting in your strength alone, we may come to know purpose in the light of the world and joy in the water of life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord God Almighty and Everlasting Father, <clears throat> you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.